This is uh, Send Help from Anthony Tambrin. Uh, I'm personally excited to hear. Uh, and I would just say, let's just jump right into it and listen to Anthony Tambrin's track. Okay, um, this was definitely a very great piece, so congratulations for that. Um, something I really enjoyed was the woodwinds. Uh, they were played uh, beautifully. Um, you have a very organic sound, um, but you ha but the, the thing is, uh, with what do you compare it? If you think about the classical tone of an orchestra or something, um, you honestly didn't match... Uh, the tone for what a real uh, orchestra would sound like, especially the str the the um the the brasses, in my opinion, it sounded great. If you if you look at this gaming epic style of music, because they sound like this. If you go for this uh, this classical uh, uh, sound, like you have it on on uh, some soundtracks or game soundtracks, I think it's 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 quite not um quite not the the direction, but. The writing and the sound is beautiful. For this kind of, of, of animation or game, it's beautiful. It works. It works definitely. And this is the tone you want for that. Um, so uh, I actually have nothing to say bad about the, the writing or the composition. Uh, I just felt that for a composing contest, uh, the music was quite a bit too quiet. It could be a little louder so you can hear the details. Uh, but as always, uh, one oh. part of, of composing... Uh, contests is simply that you need to see how it's being mixed with the sounds and that's why the, the sound effects were really loud so a lot of yeah. it been kind of messed up but I think it is a great I mean it, it, the, it matched the scene very well uh, the moments came in and uh, the orchestration was lovely the, the writing was lovely the counterpoint's great it's yeah. basically flawless from what I heard it uh very professional. I mean, is this? Can you can you tell us if this is uh, right now in a contest? This was in a contest. Involved? He told us uh, this was uh, an entry uh, for a short film competition, and uh, he drew inspiration by John Powell's soundtrack uh, for This Is Burke. Uh, John Powell. I don't know if you guys know him. This is one of the 
most famous film composers in our time because he's an absolute brilliant composer when it comes to scoring animated stuff. And he did also the Bourne series, uh, films. Um, so but, the, uh, the contest John, is still going on? Uh, the, is the contest still going on? It's uh, right now in a contest. So the contest is still good, going on, yeah. Good luck to you. I think it's great. I hope you win. Good luck, man. Yeah. Thank you definitely. for sharing this with us. I, lo- I thought it was beautiful. The ending, by the way, the ending was... The, you know the ending credits, the credits were lovely. beautifully because you can hear the clear music the ending was awesome i love this kind of solo what was it i don't know flute violin I, i'm not sure any, uh right now but this was beautiful the solo instrument in the end and the harp was great this was there's great. harp yeah yeah I heard brilliant that. harmonic progression mm-hmm. go ahead yeah uh does anyone know um uh, how old is anthony He's very young, I would say. Uh, I don't know, maybe in his 20s? <laughs> I don't know, really. But he's a very young guy. He's had a good start. He's had a, he's in a good track right now. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Well done. I just want to give yes, well advice for your future with, with sort of scoring narrative. Because um, it was a nice piece. Uh, but as you develop, think about unity. Because uh, the credits, to my ear, had very little to do with the action. Um, and then the light motifs for the two characters weren't distinct. Uh, and so the music was lovely, but in this in this action genre or whatever, like the hammer guy, I'm just throwing things out there, but consider making a light motif with... with um, timpani or something so that every now time let, let's explain talks, let's explain what what is the light motif the light oh, motif okay. is is uh ba, 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 mm-hmm. the skywalker right uh, it's like a motive that announces it's, the, it's, the little, it's, the it's little, a short music called code of, of something some idea yeah, it represents an idea or a person or like yeah. bum 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 bum. Well, who are we thinking of? Our leader. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what a light bulb is. Yeah. Uh, so, so for the hammer guy, just a suggestion: just boom, 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 boom. Like, because it's percussive, I guess. You know. Uh, but have a clear light motif, and then for the kicking person or thing, whatever it was, like I heard horns. Right, and so that every time their move happens. We reference the, uh, either the whole light motif or a small part. Thanks, buddy. Uh, and then because because you're using light motifs, that means you can have the narrative music underneath it be more unified with your closing credit music because that can be the story music. Yeah, yeah. True. Um, Anthony is is forty, but he started uh, composing seven months ago. So it's quite a very uh, new. Started composing seven months ago. Seven months ago, and this is brilliant. The ago, mixing is brilliant. That was exactly what my point was all about. I, uh, I let, noticed that immediately after I've heard it. Let me just just That's bring brilliant, in... brilliant yeah. future. Bravo, Def- definitely. That's off. Let me just bring in one point because Matt was talking about light motifs and uh, he's definitely right. I think um, this is a very good point where you start out. You build a light motif for every character. If I'm honest, and when I do film scoring, I'm doing the exact the opposite because um, I, I I try to see. For of course we have the introduction of the character and th- this uh, depending on the films can set the tone for the whole film. Um, but I personally like to work and and work completely with what the film is telling me. If this guy is introduced badly in this scene, he gets another music. Then it was it would be generally a good man. Um, so we can also have a good light motif turned into a bad thing when a bad scene happens. But I personally like to wor- work out for every scene the individual tone. Um, but uh, especially uh, John Williams is working with light motifs, and that's what we were talking about. So this is a brilliant way how to start out. Um, nice. Definitely. Let's go to Mason for the last word. Yeah, please. Uh, yes, uh, I actually enjoyed the composition. Uh, I salute. The composer being so young uh, and achieving what he's done. Uh, my only comments are like this. Uh, I felt that the bass lines were lacking somewhat and uh, the bass lines uh, in at least this is my perception of it could add a lot to what Matt was talking about and uh, Johannes 
uh, those motifs uh, could have been also introduced not only by timpani and rhythm, but by uh, possibly uh, some cello and contrabasses, um, which I did not hear very well. I mean, maybe it's just the speakers from which I'm listening. Um, but overall, uh, I greatly enjoyed it. The other comment I have is this, a movie, uh, again, uh, anything that has to do with uh, film scoring. I think there is an element uh, a little bit absent and that is a very distinctive melody. And those are the ones that uh, stick in the public's mind. You see, films and games um, are watched by the general public and uh, whatever you can uh, get to stick in their heads uh, when usually. And, and then, you know, all of the uh, musical issues could be resolved uh, uh, later on, but th that these are my comments. Uh, but I wish him the best of luck. I agree that I tell that to uh, songwriters all the time. Well, actually, I'm sorry, I acted quite perfect melody. on the point that Isa just mentioned, I think. And the last part of the work, he acted perfectly regarding that point of view. I mean, having uh, an individual mel melody. This is fantastic. I really like this. Who, uh, who, what's the name of the composer? Uh, Anthony Tambrin. Anthony Tambrin, very good job for seven months. Just started composing seven months ago. That's fantastic. Yeah, Keep it up. Well done.